This week, my daughter is diving in to a new cookbook with you guys. Hey guys, my name is Vanessa and today my oldest daughter Paige is taking over. She is 15 and in the past, oh my gosh, I know it's been probably about a year now, she is vegetarian, eating only meat, and she is starting to look at a lot of vegan meals and recipes and creating those types of dishes for herself. So for her birthday, I did get her a new cookbook and she wanted to dive into it since this month I am doing a kids in the kitchen, she wanted to do a few things for you guys. So she actually filmed and edited. I am just popping on here to let you guys know what's going on and then I'll be back afterwards to say goodbye and all of that good stuff. So don't forget this whole entire month that I am doing a big collab with a few other mommies here on YouTube. The playlist is down below and we are all just getting our kids in the kitchen over this summer. So don't forget to check out that playlist after seeing what Paige is whipping up for herself in the kitchen. All right, let's get into it. The first recipe on the list is the cinnamon and spice overnight oats. This is the perfect breakfast to eat outside with a cup of tea or coffee. For the oats, you will need mason jars to store the oats in overnight. Now to make the oats, you will first want to grab half a cup of oats and pour that into the mason jar along with a tablespoon of pumpkin seeds, a tablespoon of pecans, a cup of a plant-based milk, I am using unsweetened almond milk, half a teaspoon of agave syrup or maple syrup, a pinch of cinnamon, and finally a pinch of ginger. Leave them in the fridge overnight and enjoy them in the morning. Next we have spicy fruit and veggie gazpacho. I hope I'm saying that right. First pu puree, <laughs> first puree, two large tomatoes, a seeded serrano chili, and two cups of watermelon. Once done, add two teaspoons of unseasoned rice vinegar, and a fourth cup of olive oil and pulse. After done, add in a large seeded and diced cucumber along with a small red onion, a small seeded and diced red pepper, and a half cup of minced fresh dill. Then puree until smooth and add salt and pepper if necessary. Finally, add the remaining two cups of watermelon into reusable containers and pour the gazpacho onto them. Finally, my favorite, mint salad. Using either a mason jar or a bowl, add one tablespoon of lemon juice, a tablespoon of maple syrup or agave syrup, a half cup of pineapple, half cup of strawberries, half cup of raspberries, and a fourth cup of blueberries and two mint leaves. If you increase the quantity, you can definitely have this for lunch, which is what I actually ended up doing. everybody give Paige big props for filming and editing her own video. She's done it in the past, but it's few and far between. I love when she wants to get involved with, with this part of my life. So please give her props down below. If you guys have any really good vegan recipes that you think she would enjoy, either email those to us, my email is in the description, or comment down below so it gives everybody else some ideas. But like I said, she's really starting to dabble more into full on vegan and those types of recipes and is really interested in, in that lifestyle. So if you guys like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new. Don't forget to check out all the other mommy's videos in the playlist that is listed in the description. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.